So a well-established scientific institute in Poland came under recent fire after they established domestic cats as an invasive alien species because of all the damage they do to birds and other wildlife. And for obvious reasons, uh, a lot of people didn't like it. I love cats, but this isn't surprising to me. We all know if cats were like 30 pounds heavier, most would not think twice about hunting us. When I had a cat, we would let him outside, and one day he ran over to the next door neighbor's house and ate their Easter chicks while the kids were playing with them. In the US alone, cats kill approximately 2.4 billion birds every year. That's according to the American Bird Conservancy. Anyways, this reminded me of a story that I would love to discuss about the legend of Tiddles the cat. Way back in the day, lighthouse keeper David Lyle brought his trusted companion Tibbles to Stevens Island off the coast of New Zealand. That's kind of sweet, being a lighthouse keeper is really lonely and this guy wanted a companion. Legend has it, after establishing themselves on the island, Tibbles did what most cats do and started bringing home a lot of dead animals. And because of his reported interest in natural history, David Lyle could name any animal Tibbles brought home. But one day, Tibbles brought home this tiny flightless bird, and Lyle was like, hmm, never seen this one before. So he did the totally normal thing and boxed it up, shipped it to some bird experts, who also had never seen this bird before and agreed that it was a new species of wren. But Tibbles had one more surprise, kittens. Now, it's not clear whether she was pregnant when she arrived or if there was another cat on the island. Either way, feral cats overtook the island and this tiny flightless bird just did not stand a chance. And only a year after being discovered, they went extinct. While it's indisputable that the felines were the final nail in the coffin for this bird, using fossil records, it's theorized that their decline may have been spread out over a longer period of time. Like, they're small, tiny, and flightless, couldn't swim, didn't have much going for them. So most had already been wiped out by other predators and a few had migrated to Stevens Island during the last glaciation. But when the ice melted and sea level rose, the isolated landmass became a safe haven with no natural predators for the remaining population. That is until Tibbles arrived. 